Because we said that we could we could curse yeah. here, right? This is for adults. Uh, if you're underage, don't get fucking fillers, okay? Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Daniela, and this is my OR, where we're gonna dissect plastic surgery and beauty procedures here in South Korea. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about fillers. Are you ready? Let's go! So we're gonna talk about the different types of fillers that you can find here in South Korea. So basically when talking about fillers, we're gonna have two ways of seeing them uh, regarding the time they're gonna be in your body or the material they're made of, right? So regarding time, there are temporary fillers and permanent fillers. There's only one permanent filler in the market and it's called PMMA. Basically our microspheres are surrounded by collagen solution. So they're gonna stay in your body for like 10 years to longer. So that's basically permanent. And the other ones can vary depending on the solution they are. Those are the temporals. There are synthetic, there are hyaluronic acid, and collagen base. When we're talking about like hyaluronic acid, well, the name says it itself. Basically is something that your own body produces, and this is the most popular type of filler in the market. And it will last from three to four, five, six months. Okay, so after that, it's gonna be absorbed into your body, gone. You need to get it again, by the way. There's also synthetic ones, like calcium hydroxylapatite, and the one that I already, uh, and the one that I already mentioned, that is a permanent one, that is like PMMA, um, the microspheres. Well, now that we know which are the types of filler there are in the market, let's just make something really, really, really clear. clear. This, are nothing like Botox, they're not gonna stop your muscles, they're just gonna fill the hollows when you have like wrinkles or scars or deformities, okay? So what are fillers good for? When you have wrinkles, you want to plump your lips, you have little, you have acne scars, you had like um, an accident or a malformation and you want to feel that unevenness in your face, you want to strain your nose, but you're afraid of getting a rhinoplastic? Well, fillers are good for that. What are fillers not good for? They do not replace facelifting. So please don't think that with fillers, you're gonna get a facelift and you're gonna look 20 something years younger, okay? Okay, side effects. The side effects for fillers are similar to everything that you're gonna freaking inject in your face, so pain in the side of the injection, a little bit of redness, a little bit of swelling. Um, most like severe side effects would be bumps. Sometimes you get injected with hyaluronic acid. acid. You can have something called the Tyndall effect that is like a bluish hue tint under your skin that will lastly prog like, progressively disappear as the filler dissolves into your body. So don't be scared if you get like a bluish tint Nobody wants it, it's a side effect. Not everyone's gonna get it. Again, side effects are not for everyone. Are for a few selected by luck. <laughs> so sorry. So in the US we have like, like 36 type of fillers that are approved. In Europe they have like 140, but like the regulations are like less strict when it comes to fillers. And in Korea there are a bunch of um, fillers that are KDF approved, but the most popular ones are five. So the price on fillers do vary here in Korea. Obviously, it depends on the clinic that you go to and it depends on the brand that they use. If it's a Korean brand, it can be three to four times cheaper than um, United States or European brands. Like the same with Botox in our last video. It depends because you don't have to pay to get the medicine here. You don't have to pay all those taxes and because they're made locally. And Take account that the price will go up depending on how many injections you need. So the most popular foreign fillers that are from, made from hyaluronic acid are Juvederm and Restylane. And this is when they compete along the most popular Korean ones because here in Korea, all of the brands are hyaluronic acid, acid based. Okay, they don't have the other type of synthetic fillers. So, in Korea, the most popular ones in the hyaluronic acid ca category are Yvor and Neuramis, okay? So the prices here will vary 
The cheapest that we could found was like $150 or $100, depending if you're a Korean or a foreigner. I see you charging foreigners more. I see you. But we're gonna talk that about in another video. And depending if you go to the most exclusive VIP aesthetic clinics, it can go up to $600. So it's a choice. You get the VIP treatment, you don't get such a VIP treatment, but at the same time, you're getting filler done. So it's okay. The production of Korean fillers is fairly new. So most doctors here in, the, in this country will tell you that using American, uh, well, FDA approved brands, well, it's safer, even though it's a little bit more expensive. And they do last longer, according to Korean doctors. That doesn't mean that Korean fillers are bad or they don't work. They do work. Actually, there's a brand that is called Kyofil that is made in Korea and they say that their brand is like a premium kind of filler and that it lasts for two years. But that's a topic of another video. If you want to know more about this filler, please let us know in the comments below and we'll make it for you guys. What filler you should use depend, well, it depends on what you want to get done. Like, what is your concern about your face? If you have fine wrinkles under your eyes or crossfit, then hyaluronic acid is better for you. Like fine lines in your forehead, that's okay. If you have very deep nasal labial folds or like the, like the marionette folds under your mouth or like very deep acne scars, then you should try to get for a more semi-permanent filler, um, like the synthetic ones, or if they're very, 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 very deep, very, very, very no noticeable, go for the more, more permanent one that is like the PMMA, right? But with PMMA, take notice that your doctor should underfill it first because it's a permanent one. If you overfill it, it's there forever. So yeah, I'm telling you, depending on which area of your face, of your face you need to get filled, how deep, you need to talk to your doctor about what filler is best for your options. And please, please, please take notice that fillers do not do the magic itself. You need a good plastic surgeon that knows what the heck they're doing. They're doing it in the clinic. They're a certified plastic surgeon. Don't go for those cheap liars that say like, oh, I'm gonna do it for 50 bucks in my house, in a, in a different place, in a hotel. Don't do that. Those are scammers. And you can end up with like really, really bad bombs and the side effects of not having a filler properly inject into your skin. Okay, so please, in a clinic, certified plastic surgery, surgeon that knows what the fuck they're doing. Because <laughs> we said that we could, we could curse yeah. here, right? This is for adults. If you're underage, don't get fucking fillers, okay? God, you're a baby. Okay, so summary. Fillers, you have a bunch of them. Depending on what your face needs, you're gonna decide which one you want. Synthetic, hyaluronic, collagen, your own things, or a more permanent one. Really important, get a doctor that actually knows how to put fillers in your face. Um, third of all, if you're gonna get fillers, uh, don't go biased by the price. Uh, here in Korea, we have a var variety of uh, price ranges, so there's always, always something suitable for you. And if you like this video, like always, please comment below, subscribe, thumbs up, share it, ring the bell so we can get all the notifications of our newest videos and goodbye.